Hi, my name is Blarsh and I'm a product manager in Metril. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly test a class 2 appliance, which is in our case Rotary Hammer, using the MI3360M Omega Pad XA, an appliance tester from Metrel. The MI3360 is a means operated test instrument packed in a robust case and equipped with a touch color HD display which makes it very robust yet still easy to use. The instrument also features in large memory capacity. It has an 8 GB replaceable micro SD card, which serves us uh, for a long term saving and archiving of data. For more information about MI3360, click on the link below. So, for today's presentation, we are going to be using our test instrument plus additional test lid equipped with a crocodile clip. We will also uh, use these two small gadgets here, and these are battery operated QR barcode printer and battery operated QR barcode scanner. If we want to fully examine and test a rotary hammer, we first have to determine which parts will be subject of test and uh, which tests will be used for electrical examination. So, from the rating plate of this appliance, we can see that this is a genuine uh, class 2 appliance. This tells us the small double square symbol, which stands for double insulation and means we have no connection to protective earth. So, as we now know that uh, the appliance is double insulated, we know that protective earth test will not be applicable. So instead of it, we will perform following tests. Insulation resistance test with a probe and touch leakage test uh, for which probe is also applicable. For both tests, it is crucial that are performed with the appliance main switch in the on position. It is also important that the probe is connected to the accessible metal part. If not so, then the electrical tests are invalid and the potentially problematic or dangerous voltage or current that could appear on the metal part will not be recognized by the instrument. Each examination of electrical equipment must consist of thorough visual inspection, which is in some cases even the only applicable test option. Before we proceed testing, we first perform a visual check. We have to check that the rotary hammer is in uh, good condition, that the main switch uh, functions normally, and that the main cable is also in a good condition. So, now we connect everything accordingly. First, we will connect the mains plug of our rotary hammer to the mains test socket of our test instrument. And we will attach this uh, test lid equipped with a crocodile clip to the metal part of the rotary switch or let's say to the metal part of the housing. This uh, test lid will serve for, uh, will serve for uh, detecting of uh, any uh, integrity loss of the insulation and of course if there is any flow of the leakage current flowing against this metal part. We now enter auto sequence menu and choose correct test sequence. We will select it from the group general which is designed based on information uh, provided in the 5th edition code of practice for in-service inspection and testing of electrical equipment. Inside the menu, we search for group portable handheld from where we select a test sequence dedicated to class 2 appliances and of course for performing live testing. So once the appropriate auto sequence is selected, uh, we see here on the screen two additional options. 
uh, one for start the test and another one uh, it's uh, intended here for view the parameters of the auto sequence so under the view we see uh, which tests are included in this auto sequence and we also see which parameters or limits could be changed uh, in addition to these two options we have again also option for multiple point testing in case that our test appliance uh, would have more uh, test points for spe specific test but in this uh, particular case we will simply use uh, all parameters and limits of the um, predefined test sequence because they meet uh, all criteria for our uh, specific test appliance so we will simply start this test uh, after the after we started the test we see that the visual inspection uh, option has appeared and we simply confirm this uh, um, uh, results of the visual inspection which will be also printed on our test report and proceed with the testing we now see this uh, uh, built-in feature uh, let's say very good feature uh, which pops up uh, due to the fact that our main switch was not uh, uh, closed in the closed position um, material has decided to integrate a feature which actually measures the resistance between life and neutral terminals and uh, with this we can be sure that the main switch uh, is correctly in, in the correct position and also that the fuses uh, uh, the main fuses of this uh, appliance are not blown um, I will now repeat uh, the same test sequence uh, but this time with uh, with the main switch in the closed position so you will see the whole functionality and meaning of this specific feature so to properly demonstrate this feature I was uh, recently talking about we will now return one step back of this auto sequence and uh, simply repeat it again with the main switch of the appliance in the closed position so I will now close this um, main switch of the appliance uh, restart the auto sequence confirm the um, visual inspection and we can see that uh, now the test instrument automatically proceeds with the insulation resistance test following by touch leakage test and uh, after the touch leakage test is completed uh, also our test sequence is finished and we can simply uh, press stop So this uh, test sequence uh, of our hammer drill is now completed and we will uh, simply save test results in our memory for uh, later evaluation and also for printing of uh, test reports. So inside or let's say on the instrument we simply press save. Uh, we jump into the memory organizer where we select adding new structure object this will be for us uh, adding new appliance uh, before we enter create we will also add additional parameters to this appliance like uh, appliance name uh, we will also add test date uh, and we can change retest period if needed uh, the appliance ID will be though added uh, with a barcode scanner so this uh, menu is now opened we simply pre uh, grab this uh, scanner and scan the code of the appliance so now that everything is uh, entered uh, correctly uh, into our uh, structure parameter we simply create uh, press create and save so now our testing uh, procedure is almost finished all we have to do is to press uh, print which will enable us to print in this case QR code on our uh, battery operated printer you have to wait a second or two so now as you can see the QR code is printed and we can simply attach this new code to our appliance Well, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time.